Hundreds of area families are furious tonight over news regarding a disgraced Kansas City pharmacist, Robert Courtney, getting early release from a federal prison. He was supposed to be sent to a halfway house in June. It's eight years short of the maximum 30 year sentence he got after he was convicted of diluting cancer medicines for a decade. Fox 4 Sean McDowell talks with an attorney representing victims families who says this can't be allowed to happen. He is getting out of prison early. That seems like a great injustice. Disgraced Kansas City pharmacist Robert Courtney has been locked up since late December 2002, but that might end soon. He's scheduled to be assigned to a Springfield, Missouri halfway house on June 20th. What Robert Courtney did was horrific. Kansas City attorney Grant Davis represents more than 100 families whose relatives died from cancer after being administered chemotherapy by Courtney, who had diluted the medicine. Davis and others say he's tied to hundreds of victims. The Federal Bureau of Prisons website shows his sentence would have kept him in prison until May 2026. Davis recalls taking Courtney's first deposition at Leavenworth Prison when Courtney repeatedly leaned on his Fifth Amendment rights. The families of the victims of Robert Courtney do not want him let out of prison. They think it's an injustice. Davis says many of his clients' family members had ovarian cancer and had a slim chance of survival, but depended on chemotherapy, which turned out to be weakened. How in the world could he be let out of prison after everything he's done? How many families he hurt? We will never know, because he diluted this chemotherapy, how many people he killed. During the pandemic, a previous attempt to send Courtney to a halfway house failed. Missouri First District Representative Sam Graves spoke out against it. On Thursday, he sent this statement to Fox 4 News saying, quote, what Robert Courtney did was unconscionable. He diluted the cancer medication of 4,200 patients just to make a quick buck. He needs to serve the rest of his term in prison, not a halfway house. Davis also points out that civil attorneys can't affect the criminal system. He's heard that some victims' families would like Missouri prosecutors to pursue murder charges against Courtney. There is no statute of limitations in this state regarding those cases. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.